millions of Americans are walking around with artificial knees, hips, and shoulders. But a less common surgery is giving many people a break from their back pain. So this can slowly break down and collapse, and ultimately when the disc collapses to a certain stage, you basically have bone on bone rubbing on each other, very similar to how people have bad arthritis of the hips or the knees. The result is chronic back pain. The first line of treatment is physical therapy, and if needed, pain management. If those fail, people were left with the option of fusing the spine. Spinal fusion is a surgery where we remove the disc material and we basically fuse or we join two of the adjacent segment vertebrae together. Spinal fusion is a solid option, but not always a welcome one. Patients lose flexibility in their back and may face additional pressure on adjacent joints, but a new procedure is helping them beat back pain. Newer technologies are available to preserve motion in the lumbar and cervical spine, and those are disc replacements. Surgery to implant the artificial disc is performed through the front of the body. Doctors remove any disc fragments, then pull apart the spine and put the new joint in place. There are limitations on where it can be used and who can get an artificial disc implant. There are a lot of patients who are interested in the replacements as opposed to fusion. Right now, it's only FDA approved for one level. Still, it's a first step in taking on troublesome back pain. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.